Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmy's to the Tribes, we're making our way through the Polar Tribe at present, and today we are slipping and sliding, nice little ampersand there, uh, but we've got uh, some of our usual polar tasks, our thrower and our skater, along with an assortment of other things, uh, oh boy, we've got archers, haven't seen those in a while, uh, but let's, let's do it, let's hit right into it with slipping and sliding, we got, uh, I just love the little yellow parka in that picture there. I wish they were actually wearing the yellow parka. It's so cute. It goes so well with their little, uh, with their little yellow hair or green hair, or in this case, their gray hair because they've all frozen to death because they're not wearing that nice little parka. You know, the polar tribe has a realistic moon in the background, but the shadow moon had that goofy man in the moon type moon. Why the different moons? Is Lemmings to the tribes actually different planets? Where is the exit? It's right down here. Well, we don't have an attractor, so we're not holding everyone back that way. Uh, although they are reasonably safe in here, it would look like. Uh, so how do we want to how do we want to go about it? Let's see then. Uh, I think I. Uh, what do we got in the way of? Okay, we could. We don't have a floater, and that could be a fatal drop. I want to see about that. Okay, I'm going to let them drop into here for now. Everybody is safe down in here. But then how to get them out once they are... Well, we have two platformers, so... Mm, that's pretty easily solvable. Um, maybe we can just uh, maybe we can just do some hop across shenanigans. Ah, there we go. Well, you hit your head, but you know what? That's okay. Does this one run? This one does run, so... Just to be sure I can clear this jump... I'm going to go ahead and okay oh wait hold on I need oh wait I need a platformer down here um so how can we do this we can use an archer maybe if we hit if we hit low enough we can manage this uh, we might be able to do a stun drop okay that's pretty good that I don't think that's a fatal fall right there Okay, so go ahead, run, 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 and get going, and is that it? Is that seriously it? This must be the level one of the people was talking about, the one that's like, it's later in the tribe and it's way easier than it looks. I got all this extra stuff here and I'm doing nothing with it. Go down, drop. Yeah, that was a stun drop, okay. I was a little bit on tenterhooks there, but uh... But yeah, easy, easy level. Wow. Okay, this, this is this is level seven of this tribe, and we're getting stuff like this. This is uh, I love the little fall between happening here. That's boy, that makes for nice little spacing right there. I wish people in real life knew how to space out like that. But uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, easy level. Let's just fast forward through to the end then. And move on to level 8. Wow, starting off the day with a super easy one. Holy moly. Or, not that it was super easy, but it just happened to go super well. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all. I, had, I have had levels like that. where that Like that one where I happened to uh, get like one pixel beyond what I needed with like mortars and stuff to get down through the tunneling. Snowed in. Oh no, the Magno Booter. Everyone's least favorite. Although we have exploders here, so ooh, that could be... Okay, yeah, so we're probably going to be killing at least a lemming or two. Hopefully not all four. Um, I guess we'll see what we need here. So, not all of our slots being used up, but what slots we do have are being used up with, uh, uh, in many cases, unideal tasks. Like the Magno Booter, the Thrower, the Exploder... Only the jumper, the platformer, and the fencer are making me really... Well, everybody is uh, blocked. Uh, is there more than one entrance? Ah, there is. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we got that going for us. And there's a cannon. Oh, man. Okay. So, so let's see what happens here. So, if we may be able to magno boot out... Just a second, I have to sneeze. Okay, hopefully I remember to edit that out. Well, let's see what we've got. We've got the cannon here. Where is the Where's the best place to situate the cannon? If 
probably, uh, well, not everybody can use the cannon. So if we get down here, one, two platform. No, we need at least, we're probably going to need two platforms. The two platforms are going to be down here. So if we go down one, two, well, how are we going to, okay, we're going to need to explode out probably this way because I don't think fencing will cut it over here. So we just need somebody, we just need someone to, okay, this might be, I think we were going to need maybe three exploders from what I'm judging here. So yeah, we're going to need somebody to magno boot out. I'm going to go ahead and have it be this one. Actually, no, we're not going to, we're not going to use the cannon at all. I don't think. So we're gonna have somebody magno boot out. Okay, they can do it around oval surfaces. That's nice. Okay, so go ahead and uh, and hop when you're done there. Okay, so now we're moving along here. We don't have very long to do this level and we're wasting a lot of time just in the, okay. We're wasting a lot of time just with this one exit right here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fence here all right, so I have no way really of holding them in place. So am I going to have to use walking exploders? Is that the idea here? That's going to suck. So we're going to have to situate this low enough so that, okay, when they get here. All right, yeah, somebody is going to have to one, two, maybe we are going to use four lemmings to explode them, but they're going to have to be walking ones, which really sucks but i think if we do it from back here i think that coordinates we'll see if using four exploders gets us a silver medal or what that's gonna be too low for them to drop i think well hold on maybe if they just go one two bop okay they don't have to actually hmm yeah, we don't, so we don't have to fence through here. They can just come down this way and then go down, down, down. Okay, yeah, we can situate both platforms here. Okay, they're not going to be coming out this way and falling fatally. Okay, good. Okay, so now I think is where we have to... Well, we can save at least a few of them with, uh, with one fencer. So, okay, who are we going to want to save with the, well, we're going to have to save them with a fencer because a fencer will angle up and not get them out of there. So let's go ahead and, well, let's wait till the guy is done first. Let's at least wait till he's made a safe journey. Oh, wow. That was nearly perfect. Makes me think that's where we're supposed to be using these things. So, okay. So then... All right, so we're going to fence out of here with them. They can go to the exit. Now we have to determine where to explode from. I'm going to I'm going to let them take a walk. 4 3 2 that was too early one. Oh, wow. Oh, the exploder affects everyone. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's go 5 4 3 2 1 Oh, hey, somebody got out. That's that's nice, at least. Okay, so... Huh. Maybe we can do that with a... Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's not... Okay, yeah. Alright, so that's too far away. Let's just go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's nice and cozy. Oh, and that just gets everybody right out of the whole period. So I used all my exploders. Okay, yeah, they're all making it that way. That's good. Okay, so they walked out here and went bop, 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 and then they walked up the hill. Okay, so I used all my exploders. I may only get a silver for this, and if I do, we'll come back and redo it, but I did get most of the lemmings out safely. It's just determining where from to do I get the silver or do I get the gold? I get the gold. Okay. So yeah, you can use all your exploders and still get gold. So then I'm just going to move on. 
That one, that one was fine, yeah. Get that cannon out of the way. We don't want to use the cannon, especially when there's the possibility of double glitching, which is disgusting. We want to move on to levels that don't have cannons. Why would you want to use a cannon in the snow every, anyway? You're just going to get snow everywhere. It's all uphill. This looks like a DOL sentence. I see places where I could be marking this up with my red pen. We got super limbs, miners, runners. Uh, we got the skier. The skier was a fun task. I really enjoyed that one. Let's get right into it. I am, uh, I'm having a blast here today. We, there is a possibility that we could finish the polar tribe today. I didn't want to, I didn't want to make that kind of half promise that I do sometimes when we're near the end of a tribe. Oh, we are literally, yes, going uphill. So, okay, I have to, I have to preserve them somehow. Uh, oh, do we have to cannon? Do we really have to? I'd rather not, all things considered. Maybe I can just build past it. Okay, so well, yes, we are going up to the top. We're climbing to the peaks. So we're going to need at least one builder here. How many ropes do we need? We only get one rope. Oof. Okay, so a skier is going to get ahead maybe? All right. This is, uh, this is uh, semi-distressing. Okay, let's see if we can't get... Let's see if we can't get ahead of the curve here. How do we keep everybody in? We have miners. We have classic miners. Uh, okay, keeping everybody in going to be the tricky part. Keeping them contained. Because they're just going to walk off into uh, God knows what kind of nighttime abyss. So we go up. Man, this is... Okay, this is tricky. This one might be a reverse engineer type of level. One... Or no, maybe build past here and mine down through here. Do I have any kind of bashing task? I'd have to really hit it good. Huh. Okay, so I could go, well, no, if I mine down through here, he goes to the end. Well, I could end it with a builder. It would be really hard to get down through here, but it seems the most manageable way to mine from a spot where I'm going to get down through here. Huh. But the amount of builders I have, that's the that's the rough part. How, how quickly do they come out? Let's see that first. Yeah, they come out pretty fast. So we have a skier. That gets them slight. Yeah, that gets them pretty well ahead. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so maybe what I can do... Okay, well, that didn't really do much to keep everybody in. Okay, maybe Super Wim needs to come down from the top. Okay, everybody cannons up to there. Okay, the cannon is not ideal, but I guess I'm okay with... I wish I had a stacker. So I could, like, close in here. And then the cannon just they all bunch around the cannon but that might cause glitches so we may need i'm gonna use my skier again oh he can't ski uphill well you know that makes a certain degree of sense actually okay yeah some guy is gonna go off into the night yeah that's okay i only have one jumper one runner and one oh a runner that's probably makes a little more sense actually um so Okay, yeah, so let's... Okay, we're going to be running then. All right. You run as soon as you can. Hit that ground. All right, and then you're going to jump as soon as it's safe. I think I did it from too far back. Okay, but that might get you ahead enough. Nope, nope, that doesn't get you ahead enough. Dang it. Why does he, why does he go dizzy when you make him jump? And that isn't high enough anyway, so... Oh, man. Part of the trouble here is just getting it off the... Getting everybody safe to begin with. Okay, I think the cannon is in the right place. Maybe slightly over. So then build... Another builder. Maybe... Okay, how many builders am I going to need? So I have one, two down here. That gives me four. Where are my builders? Right here. That gives me four for up here. 
Yeah, I'm inclined to think that, yeah, the best way is going to be to super whim up through here and get them to mine down through here. But I just have to get them safe downstairs first. And that's going to be uh, the semi-tricky part. Maybe I'm going to want... Yeah, flying up through there is going to be a task. So I'd rather get them safe first, then have somebody fly up into the into the top... Wow, that is narrow pickings for the super lemming. Definitely going to have to be making use of that pause trick. Alright, this is just a quick test. Let's see something here. Ow. Yes, ow indeed. Okay, good. You're walking to the left. That's what I wanted. I want to see what happens when I mine from the very back end here. Oh, are they playing with the cannon already? Yeah, they sure are. Okay, so we're going to be hearing a ton of that. Let's just fast forward. This is going to be... Oh, man. This is going to take a while. But it looks like it might angle correctly. So I think my theory bears out. Oh, man. Yeah, that takes a long time. So, yeah, they can start building up. Aha! Yes, I think... Yeah, okay. This is a good test. So that should only require three builders. Maybe four... One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Okay, so so they get up there. All right, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that is that is clean as can be. That's gotta be it. Okay, so all right, yeah, go, yeah. It takes two builders to get up to there. Then it should take one builder to get up to here. So then just one and one. I think I know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to set a... Uh, how do I want to do this? I can... Okay, I have to end it with something other than... I have to end the miner with something other than a jumper. But I think I know how to keep him held in. I'm going to have a runner... Well, I was going to have a runner going if my if my mouse wanted to click properly. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and run it, and there we go. One, two, if one gets past, that's fine. Oh, well, nobody got past. So, yeah, I need a jumper for this. All right. Um, somebody going out to the left, maybe, like you? Yes, okay. So I have to be careful here. I have to be careful not to... There we go. One, two, three. Okay, and then we'll... Uh... And then we'll just end you with... You just sit there with your bow for a little bit. And then he'll get bored and start walking or running or whatever, right? Okay, yeah, he'll just put an arrow in the ceiling. Okay, that, that's fine too. Alright, so he's running around. They're all having a good time. Okay, so I'm going to have to build out... Eventually. Well, not even eventually. Alright, well, yes, eventually. Because I want this to be safe first. Okay, uh... Alright, they're gonna go... They get cannoned out. I can cannon them. Did I have it scooted up? I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick test of that, too. Okay, make sure he doesn't turn around with his build. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I think I left the cannon where it was while I did the super whim test. I don't think I scooted it up any. That should get them perfectly into... Yeah, there we go. Oh, and they don't even... Oh, they don't even get stunned. Boy, that's even better. Okay, so... Alright. Hmm. Actually, he probably should close up that gap. But also not stop building, because when they turn around from that, they're gonna they're gonna go down into. No, it's fine. It's fine. They just walk a lot longer of a path. Okay, so I can probably get them going starting now. Let's see. Uh, this is gonna be a bit sticky. If he builds the wrong way, then everything is goofed. Looks like everything is goofed, because it looks like he built the wrong way. Well, in that case, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I see the tracks of it here. Okay, so then 
it doesn't even matter. All right, we want to build clean bridges that, like, seal off the hole, but he continues to build. Okay, everybody is stuck in here, so I'm just going to shoot. Yeah, we're just going to shoot an arrow at the side of the screen. Okay, yeah, these are sealed up. Okay, he continues building. Because I want to make these bridges as soon as possible. I think from here maybe ought to do it. I think he might actually hit right there. That might have been too late. No, he could go, but he could also hit the end. But I got to build out of here, and that's going to be the tough part. Okay, it looks like it's going off without a hitch now. Okay, so good. Okay. So yeah, so here they go out of the pit. They can all start going out now. We want to start getting them going now because it's going to take a while to do this whole cannon business. Uh, well, the runner is getting a head start. Very good. Very good for him. Okay, so uh, yeah, we want to super limb up then. Okay, we'll wait till he gets to the top so that he has less flying to do. And we'll wait till he's facing left so that when he lands, he continues facing left. All right, fly through the night, Mr. Super Lemming. Here you go. You got this. Poof! Right into the snow. The impact, it's its okay. The impact, the impact didn't hurt him any. He's a Super Lemming. It's okay. There we go. That's perfect. Right on the turnaround. So now, yeah, we get it going pretty decently here. We can start, oh, hold on just a second. Hold on, I hear a knock. I think that's maintenance, actually. All right, literally seven hours later. Good grief. That took a long time. Uh, but, you know, they're out of here now, and we can kind of do our thing, I hope. Hope everything is going okay here with this. Man, we're going to need to find a way to contain them, aren't we? Yeah, and I think I know how I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to rope up right here. That should keep everyone in the vicinity, I think. Well, the runner is already on his uh, good old way. I love that one runner just kind of chilling, doing a vibe. <laughs> he is uh, he is way more pumped than the rest of his comrades. Boy, that mining takes a long time. But yeah, I think we've got everybody contained that we would need contained. And just hopefully, hopefully no double glitching happens. That would just be the absolute worst for this to have sat here as long as it did. Uh it to have sat here as long as it did and uh oh my gosh i'm like losing i'm like losing the thread this has been sitting here so long waiting for me to come back to it and now now here at last it's finally getting finished okay so here comes the here comes how often are oh wow we can do well we can have the runner build it looks well not the runner that might be uh here we go we want to be sure that we build to the right because we spent so long preparing this nicey nice solution are we gonna get all the guys that we need in there it launches like one limbing every few seconds i'm kind of interested in seeing how quickly i get this together uh nobody goes out to the okay yeah everybody kind of loops around in a tight circle once they get to here but I don't think I did this in time to save everyone. You really got to get moving on that quickly, like really hammering in on it. Maybe mining for two minutes is not the solution here. That's a, yeah, a lot of lemmings get in, but maybe I just didn't do this soon enough because you had them, you had them running all over creation, didn't you? Yeah. That's not going to get everybody to the exit. It almost got everybody there. But you really need that containment earlier because I just ran out of time. Mercy sakes. It was reasonably good, but we can do better. We can we can contain the lemmings with the ropes sooner and probably get them going pretty good. All right, let's do this now so that this is with uh, less than a minute of the level used up. So yeah, there we go. He gets in the cannon. Kaboom. There we go. And we can super limb to the top pretty quickly. And yeah, that should get limbings going pretty soon. Of course the runner took first dibs. That's just that's just kind of how the runner do. Okay, trucking, trucking, trucking. Is he gonna make it? 
No! Okay, hopefully that will subvert the need for the cannon altogether, because the lemmings that walk out can then just go on to here, and any that go in the cannon, it's fine, they can take that route, but the others that don't take the cannon, that they don't have to suffer then, and be left behind, they can just walk into here. So let's see if that gets it done, because this is a very timing intensive level, and once again, it has made me hate the cannon. Okay, now that this loop is completed, everybody is pouring in. Everybody has avoided the cannon totally, so I think we should have the time to pull this off. And as a little bonus, the runner got ahead of everybody else, so we may be able to just get everybody in without anyone doing one more big loop. Yeah, just barely. Okay, so that that is much better. It's much better to just avoid the cannon altogether. As usual, the cannon sucks. We should launch the cannon out of a cannon. The cannon is cannon fodder. So yeah, that was a that was a surprisingly tough level. I'm not going to uh, attempt one more today. So next time we will finish the Polar Tribe in its entirety and uh, move on to the next one, which I think is going to be the Highlands. We are uh, we are cooking quite uh, prodigiously. We're making pretty good time, I do think, and we're having ourselves just a Gee golly ton of fun. That sounded sarcastic. It wasn't.